recent Starship Integrated Flight Test, or IFT-2, showcased a remarkable achievement by SpaceX. His company SpaceX has just completed the second orbital flight of Starship, creating a milestone that no rocket has matched or even only existed in the dreams of competitors. But, as those companies have yet to figure out how to surpass that feat, this CEO once again shakes the entire rocket industry by reviewing the latest version of Starship, really another powerful monster version. While older rockets tended to have fewer but larger engines, newer rockets like SpaceX's Starship have many smaller and simpler ones. Musk recently explained one of the reasons for this choice in a tweet. These two approaches have different benefits and drawbacks. How did SpaceX decide to use multiple engines for their rockets? So, what does the next generation Starship look like? What advantages will the new changes bring to SpaceX? We'll explore this question stay tuned as we get into this and lots more in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. Starship is a futuristic spacecraft designed to stack atop a towering super-heavy rocket, forming the world's first fully reusable launch system. After undergoing many tests, Starship has been continuously refined and upgraded by SpaceX to become more and more comprehensive. It was already the largest and most powerful rocket ever built. However, Elon Musk remains unsatisfied and recently, he has revealed some of the boldest upgrades to create a new generation prototype called the Starship V2. SpaceX shared a photo of Starships inside the high bay, including S-28, S-29, S-30, and S-32, declaring, for more Starships, the last of V-1. This indicates that SpaceX will make changes to the Starship design and manufacture the next version of the vehicle in the near future. He also highlighted features of the new generation, stating, Version 2 of the Starship holds more propellant, reduces dry mass, and improves reliability. Although Elon Musk did not provide many details about the features of future Starship variants, based on his previous tweets, we can speculate on some possibilities for the new Starships. Future Starships may have three additional vacuum Raptor engines, and the spacecraft's size will be extended by at least 10 to 20 percent, as mentioned in Elon Musk's tweet in September. This year, if the 20 percent longer development happens, then the stacked rocket will be 144 meters long, and 24 meters will be over 60% of the length of the Space Shuttle Orbiter, which was 37 meters long. The SpaceX Starship upper stage is 50 meters long. If this is made 20% longer, it would be 60 meters long. The Space Shuttle on the launch pad, with its external fuel tank and side boosters, was 56 meters tall. If the Starship payload area could be stretched by 10 meters, the payload volume would increase from 1,000 cubic meters to 1,800 cubic meters. If fuel and Starship increase, then the stretched payload volume might only increase to 1,400 cubic meters. Of course, increasing the length of the spacecraft implies the need to add more Raptor engines. The current spacecraft has six Raptors, increasing the number of engines to nine with greater thrust will enhance the overall propulsion of the spaceship, allowing it to launch more payload. In the orbit, at stage separation close to vacuum, a stretched Starship with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum-optimized Raptors should produce at least 2,000 tons of thrust, and possibly more than 2,250 tons depending on engine performance. At that upper level of thrust, Starship and upper stage would be just 10% less powerful than the first stage of Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket in the world. Regardless of its thrust, dimensions or weight, what matters most is how a stretched nine-engine Starship would impact that overall rocket's launch performance. If unofficial modelers are to be believed, the results are significant. Compared to a normal Starship with a six-engine upper stage and 33-engine booster, the stretched ship could theoretically boost the amount of payload the rocket can launch to low Earth. Orbit from about 150 tons to 220 tons or more. An almost 50% improvement than a shorter six-engine Starship. If those estimates are accurate, upgrading Starship with nine Raptors and stretching its tanks is a no-brainer. It might slow development and make all nine engine ships cost a substantial fraction more, but a 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly improve the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which require numerous orbital refueling. A 50% payload increase would allow SpaceX to complete most refueling tasks more efficiently, quickly, and cheaply. 
even if the upgrade plans mean that all starships would be stretched and carry nine Raptors, fully refueling the new Starship variant in LEO could require seven tanker launches instead of eight to ten. If SpaceX doesn't mind maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants, which appears to be the case, then ships that are exclusively dependent on refueling Moon and Mars landers in particular could stay at their current size with around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded Starships could thus refuel their smaller siblings, which is five to six tanker launches. However, there's a good chance that the extra mass required to stretch Starship around 5.5 meters or 4 tons is minor enough that SpaceX will stretch all Starship variants instead. The second-generation Starship will also feature upgrades based on lessons learned from recent integrated flight tests and ground tests prior to launch. Expect improved and more secure worlds and future Starship variants, with a possibility of super-heavy rockets also receiving these design upgrades in the future. Currently, there are up to four Starships in production at Starbase, including Ship 33 and 34, which are being prepared for assembly and could be among the first to receive the upgrades. Not only increasing the size, but Elon Musk also needs to upgrade the Raptor engines for these new generation Starship prototypes. Elon Musk responded to a post about a Raptor engine video saying, I'm very excited about the next-gen Raptor engine that's robust enough not to require a heat shield will also have more thrust, higher ISP, and many other improvements. Indeed, in both recent flights, Starship has utilized exclusively the Raptor V2 engines that SpaceX describes as having more power and fewer parts, making the engine lighter compared to V1. SpaceX has consistently carried out significant upgrades and extensive ground tests not only to enhance reliability to replace the less reliable first-generation Raptors but also to use it as a stepping stone towards a new engine generation, Raptor V3. Elon Musk revealed this aversion of Raptor with greater thrust, higher specific impulse and various improvements compared to its predecessors. Notably, it'll be powerful enough to eliminate the need for a heat shield. In this context, the heat shield acts like the panels under the rocket vehicle's engines, protecting the engine components from heat when one of them explodes during testing or launch. However, they also contribute a significant weight for Starship to bear. Therefore, eliminating the heat shield will not only help the engine become more compact, but will also facilitate easier engine installation and faster large-scale production compared to previous versions. As the Raptor engine becomes lighter, the overall weight of Starship will also decrease. SpaceX conducted the first three tests of Raptor in May with its thrust achieving a record. Regarding the Raptor V3's increased power, let's compare it to the Saturn V. The rocket that propelled NASA Apollo astronauts to the lunar surface, it generated 7.6 million pounds of thrust. With 33 Raptor engines, Starship could surpass the Saturn V to become the world's most powerful rocket, even though one Raptor engine has less thrust than one F-1 engine. This was an unprecedented event in rocket history, and it sets a high bar for any future competitors. It's unlikely that any other rocket will surpass this record in the near future or even in the next few years. One factor that distinguishes modern rockets from their predecessors is the number and size of their engines. As mentioned, older generation rockets, mainly in the past century, often used large engines in small numbers. We can clearly see this in one of the world's most famous rockets, the Saturn V. This legendary rocket is powered by the F-1 engine. The king of engines. Compared to most current engines, the F-1 is quite large in size. With a height of 5.8 meters, a diameter of 3.7, and a mass of up to 9 tons. This engine has a huge thrust of 1,522,000 pounds or 690 tons. Each Saturn V rocket uses five F 1 engines. But in this era, when new generation rockets are created, their engines often apply the simplification trend. New generation engines are often smaller, lighter, and less complex than older engines like the F 1. Along with the reduction in size and simplification of design, the number of engines used increased significantly. Let's examine SpaceX's rocket development. After launching the Falcon 1, which had a single Merlin engine, they quickly upgraded to the Falcon 9, which had nine Merlin engines. Hence the name. The latest model of the Merlin engine family, the Merlin 1 DC level weighs only 470 kilograms and measures 1.013 meters in height and 0.92 meters in diameter. It produces a thrust of 190,000 pounds or 86 tons. These are much smaller than the F1 engine's dimensions and power. 
Similarly, when SpaceX designed Starship, they also introduced a new engine called the Raptor. It follows the same trend of simplification as most other modern engines. The current Raptor 2 version has a height of 3.1 meters, a diameter of 1.3, and a mass of 1.6 tons. It generates a thrust of 230 tons or 510,000 pounds. These are also significantly lower than the F1 specifications. The future Raptor 3 version will weigh only 1.4 tons and produce 269 tons or 590,000 pounds of thrust. It still cannot match the size and thrust of the F1. However, the current Starship booster uses up to 33 engines. This number surpasses the number of engines used by the Saturn V. But then again, using many engines has its disadvantages. A large number of engines means that more machines and processes will be needed to control, leading to an increased risk rate. This was made clear as day during the first orbital test flight as well as after the separation phase of the second orbital test flight. Engine ignition is a critical process that requires careful management. It affects vehicles of all types, regardless of the number of engines they have. However, the more engines a vehicle has, the more complex and challenging the ignition process becomes. One common misconception is that all engines on the rocket fire at the same time. In reality, there is often a slight delay of milliseconds between different engines. This may seem negligible, but it can have serious consequences. If the engines that are supposed to provide symmetrical thrust on opposite sides of the rocket do not fire at the same time, the rocket can become unstable and deviate from its planned trajectory. This poses a great risk to the safety of people and infrastructure nearby. This issue is especially relevant for Starship, SpaceX's ambitious rocket project. Its booster stage has again 33 engines arranged in three concentric rings, 20 outer engines, 10 middle and 3 inner. However, this means that it takes about 2 seconds to fire up all the engines. Therefore, the precision and balance of the ignition process are crucial for the stability of the vehicle. So with all of these disadvantages, why did SpaceX decided to go with a lot of engines instead of one big one? Well, one of the advantages of having multiple engines is to increase flight stability. Rockets with more engines can distribute the thrust ratio better than rockets with fewer. This was recently explained by Musk in his tweet, Starship has 33 engines. With 33 Raptor engines, Starship can also surpass the Saturn V to become the most powerful rocket in the world, although one Raptor engine has less thrust than one F1. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.